Okay, folks, I'm going to try to uh, explain this invention or whatever you want to call it, a tube support that I came up with. Today we're going to make a, a support for a three pound strobe rocket using Walter's strobe tooling. I'm going to take six inch shim stock, it's five south thick. This stuff's from Lion Industries. The inside looks pretty good. We'll use it as is. So first, we have to reduce it down to suit the three pound rock tube. So, put the rubber bands around it. The brass is pretty springy, you got to be pretty careful with it. And the edges are sharp too. So, I chose this because this straight out of the box for a six inch rocket doesn't require any cutting. So, this is to demonstrate the concept. That's all. So now, you can cut yourself too doing this, so you got to be careful. I'm right handed, so I do it this way. So. As you can see, it's already way smaller. Okay, I'm just using my fingers in there. The rubber bands are keeping it from re-expanding. Or whatever the correct term is. So as you get close to your desired size, you're going to want to slow down. Now, the problem is, do you want to use a old NEPT tube with a 1.39 inch diameter or a new one this one's 1.369 maybe you're in Germany you might want to use an Egger tube 1.355 or if you're just getting into rockets and you know or if you just want a good strong cheap tube well this is a fills tube 1.260, that's the smallest of the bunch. Anyway, we'll go to the new NEPT. That's what everybody's buying nowadays. Still way too big, no problem. I think we're getting down to just needing the thumb now. Now I've got rubber gloves right here. You can always use them. I choose not to. Anyway, we're getting close, okay. I'm just putting my thumb against the inside and just winding it gently, bit at a time. See, see now, see that's, that's pretty darn close. But you know what? A little too close. So I turned it backwards. That loosened it ever so slightly. Okay, you got a sliding fit there. That's good. So now, what you do, there's that inside little edge there, okay? You want to be always careful to put it in this way so you don't damage that little edge. Now you've got it in there. Damp sponge, not dripping. You put the end in first because this makes the tube swell a little bit. If you wipe it first, you're not going to get it in there. Okay, so there we are now. So now we push it down in. Okay. For the three pound tubes, I like to use these. They're really rough. Let's stick my finger in there. Wind it tight. Okay. That's it. Now, here's your clamping system, if you want to call it that. Okay, it's just filament tape. But what I do is turn it over a little on the end, stick it to itself. Be easy to get off later. 
Now that's ready to press a rocket right now. You can press a rocket to uh, 9,000 PSI no problem. I've gone as high as 15,000 on a one pound rocket. But anyway, this little plastic washer, this is from I made this out of the lid of an OxyClean container, okay? you got to have that. If you don't, this fine paper thin edge of the brass will become damaged when you're pressing your rocket. You put that plastic thing there, you're good to go. Anyway, so now, let's say, we'll press a rocket later, but let's say you want to get your rocket out of there. All you have to do, well, you have to take the filament tape off. Okay. The reason you put the filament tape on there is because if you're twisting your drifts out while you're pressing a rocket, you're going to twist it against the direction of tightening. You're going to loosen your tube. Then you're going to get compression wrinkles. That's no good. Okay. So now you want to take it out. Just turn it backwards. Okay. Tube comes right out. Now, let's say that's an NEPT tube, but I want to use an agar tube. They're quite a bit smaller. Yeah, they're a bit smaller, aren't they? Okay, so you go through the same routine of get, bringing it close. Not close enough yet. That's pretty close right there. Again, you wipe with the sponge. Just damp. Okay. I can feel it snug more snug already. And this, I'm just demonstrating this now, okay? So again, you can feel it tighten. That's it. It barely moved. But that thing, that's the strongest tube support I've seen. I haven't seen everyone ever made, but okay. So you can adjust it to different sizes. Now let's say I wanted to press up a skinny spindle one pound rocket. What I chose that? Why? Because six inch long tube, right? Caleb's little skinny spindle there. Okay. So I'm going to take that. I gotta make this sucker go all the way down to that. It'd be nice if your tube supports could make more than one kind of rocket. I mean, if you were using a clamshell, you're certainly not gonna wanna have one for every size, are you? Well, I suppose you might want to, you just won't be able to. So now when it gets smaller, there's less tension on these rubber bands. I'm going to take this baby off and make it, make it tighter. Again, the brass is pretty springy. I'm holding on to it. Okay, so there I have it. So we're just going to move in right along. Now, I should mention this little sharp edge, that's just for this little demonstration video. When I make a normal support, I would radius that edge. Then you wouldn't have that anymore. But, we're in a hurry. Now, this is a little bit of monkeying around, but you know, to turn a three pound support into a one pound support, I got a couple minutes to spend. That's getting pretty close. You know what? That's good enough. So, again, you just put it in a little ways, wipe it with the not too damp sponge, okay. You can see it's a little more snug going down in, okay. Sometimes 
it doesn't grab. Okay, I'm gonna go around a couple times. Okay, this baby, oh, wait, no, see, it finally grabbed. Sometimes it takes a minute. Okay. That thing has gripped onto that one pound tube like grim death. You can press a rock with 9,000 pounds in it, no problem. Again, plastic wash. Okay, so this piece of brass costs 20 bucks. But anyhow, let's say I want to go back up. You can't wind it open the same way you wound it closed because that's not going to work. Okay, so take these rubber bands, I'm going to loosen them. Again, the brass is springy, you got to hold on to it. You don't want to have a little accident. Okay, I'm going to put this down maybe near the metal. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Now, this is all telescoped. That's no good. You don't want that. So, push it down a little this way, down a little this way, down a little this way. Okay, it's all good. We're back to normal. Again, it's not big enough, but. going to do, I'm going to use weaker, a weaker rubber band to allow it to re-expand, okay? We'll hold on to it a little better this time. Okay, okay, slow down there. Now, if I open it too much, that's fine. No big deal. Oops. Sorry guys, first day in Hollywood, a little nervous. Okay. It's a little too closed for the big tube. Wants to run away on you. Now, that's no problem. I'm going to just put this other rubber band on here right now because I know I only want it smaller. So it's okay if there's too much tension when you want to go smaller. Since I'm right handed, it goes that way for me. Now, you don't want to have burrs on the ends of your tubes like that right there. That's no good. Yeah, you know what? little more snug yet. There you go. That's good. Again, wipe with the sponge. You can open them and close them and wipe them and leave it there. And come back. Do it tomorrow if you want. And again, now I feel it tightening. That's it. Hand tight. That's all you need to do. Again, I put a piece of filament tape on there to hold that so that when I'm twisting my rammers out, if I am, and I do it the wrong way, I don't want to loosen the thing. So, there you go. So, come on, baby. Ready to press three pound strobe rocket. 20 bucks.